The first method of data sourcing where you're making new data that I want to talk about is interviews. And that's not because it's the most common, but because it's the one you would do for the most basic problem. Now, basically, an interview is nothing more than a conversation with another person or a group of people. And the fundamental question is, why do interviews as opposed to doing a survey or something else? Well, there's a few good reasons to do that. Number one, you're working with a new topic and you don't know what people's responses will be or how they'll react. And so you need something very open ended. Number two, you're working with a new audience, and you don't know how they will react in particular to what it is you're trying to do. And number three, something's going on with the current situation, it's not working anymore, and you need to find what's going on and you need to find ways to improve the open ended information where you get past your existing categories and boundaries can be one of the most useful methods for getting that data. If you want to put it another way, you want to do interviews when you don't want to constrain responses. Now, when it comes to interviews, you have one very basic choice, and that's whether you do a structured interview. And with a structured interview, you have a predetermined set of questions, and everyone gets the same questions in the same order. It gives a lot of consistency, even though the responses are open ended. And then you can also have what's called an unstructured interview. And this is a whole lot more like a conversation where you as the interviewer and the person you're talking to, your questions arise in response to their answers. Consequently, an unstructured interview can be different for each person that you talk to. Also, interviews are usually done in person, but not surprisingly, they can be done over the phone or often online. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind about interviews. Number one is time. Interviews can range from just a few minutes to several hours per person. Second is training. Interviewing is a special skill that usually requires specific training. Now, asking the questions is not necessarily the hard part. The really tricky part is the analysis. The hardest part of interviews by far is analyzing the answers for themes and way of extracting the new categories and the dimensions that you need for your further research. The beautiful thing about interviews is they allow you to learn things that you never expected. So in sum, interviews are best for new situations or new audiences. On the other hand, they can be time consuming. And they also require special training, both to conduct the interview, but even more to analyze the highly qualitative data that you get from them.